Hello, Captain VFC here with another unboxing video. Today we are looking inside this Airfix 172nd Fogger Wolf FW190A 8. That's a bit of a mouthful, so I'm just going to be calling it the 190. This is the starter set stroke gift set version, depending on what they decide at the time, which means it includes paintbrush, four paints, and a tub of humble poly cement. This one has a product code A68210, which means I believe it is the Aldi version. It could be Lidl, could be Aldi, could be both. I don't know. Either way, I bought it from your generic budget supermarket at the end of 2022, and I thought it was time to have a little look. You can already see that I've ripped the box uh, because... Ah, oh, it's moved. The... um. The paints were clearly here and they were bulging uh, and so I pulled it a little bit to try and squeeze them out of the way and it, it split the box which is not great but hey shit happens. Standard Airfix branding on this one with this lovely bit of artwork for the aircraft, the scheme that is included down here, the Airfix logo here, product code, what it includes and AJ plus here, everything as you'd expect. On the long edge it's talking about the history of the aircraft, number of pieces, for example, a, another representation of the aircraft included one flying hour, skill level one, which you'd expect. The other edge has some warnings, and each end looks a little bit like that. The colour callout and some other information is on the back. I'm trying to find where it says what tooling. There we go. So, uh, model design and tooling 2013, scheme and design 2013 as well. So, nine years old when I bought this, ten years old at time of recording or 11, close enough, whatever year we're in, whatever year you're in, who knows? And like I say, just one scheme, and because it is a starter stroke gift set, this is designed to use only the four paints provided, which means they've probably compromised a little bit as to the actual uh, colour of the aircraft. It probably wasn't quite as basic. I will probably do some research, but to be honest, I haven't even decided what colour I'm doing this in yet. Probably won't even use the paints. So let's see what's inside. Secured inside the bag, we had... The four paints and poly cement here, a paintbrush, one separately sealed bag of clear parts, and then these three light grey plastic sprues, and your instructions are here. I assume the decals are in here. In fact, let's look at that first. Decals were indeed inside the instructions. There we go. Uh, very, very basic, again, because they're designing these kits to be either easy builds or starter sets, introducing people that maybe are not very familiar with kit building. Instructions again, standard Airfix formula of some history up here, warnings in multiple languages, uh, a little bit of information, something which I never do. Surfaces to be painted should be clean. I never wash them. I've never really needed to. It's, oh, I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe this one. That's the difference. Oh, okay. And pages, the first pages you get are more or less the same information here and then in other languages, sorry, and then basic contents assembly instructions your usefulness so already on a thin fairly limited set of instructions the first couple of pages aren't even <laughs> the uh, the construction uh, advice for supervising adults so if you want to supervise an adult you shouldn't give them chemical toys and things anyway um right here we go nice and simple interior optional pilot oh my god they've included a pilot I wonder if you have to chop his feet off. Anyway, uh, a couple of decals there. They are not the newest form of Airfix instructions. These ones are all black and white. They're still, still very clear, but there's no colour whatsoever on there. So maybe something to be aware of. Optional holes for something. It doesn't actually tell you what they're for. It tells you that this one's for the stand but doesn't tell you what these are for. Also, interesting that a starter kit would give you the option to drill holes. I'd have thought maybe that is more a skill level 2 kind of thing, but never mind. Sticking the front together, the back together. Ah, oh, there we go. Now it's telling you there's guns here. Um, that's presumably what you were drilling holes for, I guess. I don't know. Again, it didn't actually tell you. Or I just misread it, and I'm not going back. I'm committing to it. But it does give you the option to do the wheels up, if you would like. Uh, it's also, again, giving you this rather strange option of cutting bits of step out. It's just, again, probably not the best way of bringing newbies into the hobby, but never mind. What do I know? 
And then final assembly. And as we've already seen, colour callout is on the back of the box. Sorry, I was hesitating because I've just noticed that the last thing you should do is stick the engine on. That actually feels like quite a sensible idea because often you have to stick it on quite early on and then somehow paint around it or uh, risk breaking or something. So actually, that one seems quite smart. In here, I'm not going to open them up, but we've got four bin fillers and a fifth bin filler. You can use this cement, I would advise against it. You can use these paints, I would also advise against it. Goodbye. It's a number two paintbrush, but that doesn't mean it's poop. Sprue A, we have wings and some other bits and almost no flash, which is good to see. These starter set versions from Aldi and Lidl were produced in much greater numbers and therefore more cheaply than normal Airfix. I am under the impression that either the factory is different or there is some other reason why they can produce these cheaper other than just quantity. Um, as long as it builds nicely and the quality does not suffer, I do not have a problem with that. I know that some people have had problems, but this looks fine. Look at the detail. You've even got little recessed rivet detail on the wing. Very, very smart. That one is sprue. That one is sprue A. Oh, you've also got two tail wheels, one up, one down. That makes life a lot easier, doesn't it? Sprue B has this sort of bucket-like interior. Should be nice and easy. Again, no flash to speak of. There's the pilot, Le Pilot. I don't know if that is a different pilot to things like the Spitfire, but of course it should be a German pilot. Again, I'm not really sure if there is a difference. Although the pitot tube is already at a funny angle. Um, because it's moulded onto the wing, that's going to get knocked off. Um, I will be amazed if that lasts it even a day into the build of this. But yeah, again, very, very nice looking plastic. And presumably this is sprue C. Yes, there it is, sprue C, where we have the fuselage, propeller blades, nose cannon, other miscellaneous stuffs. Oh... I hate that. I can see why they've done it. Sticking the engine in last, they have compromised by making it one piece, which means it will be a pain to pick out any separate colours. You'll just have to kind of drop a load of black paint in that, really. Not very good for detail, but much, much easier to make. But that's something that I do not like to see in my models. And what I've always felt makes the Airfix gift set and starter set range stand out is that they all make into genuinely decent models. They don't look like starter sets, they just look like decent models. But that is not a feature that you'd expect in a decent model, this side of, uh, well, this millennium, really. Never mind. I am a little bit concerned by the shape of the fuselage. It kind of looks like it's bowed. don't know if you can see that, but the back here is in line... with the kind of other half, with the, the, the sprue feed, whereas here it's pushed out quite a lot, but that can't be something to do with the box. I think that's just the way it's been produced. I don't know, we'll see if that makes any sort of difference when we're building it, but a little bit concerned straight away. It's clearly not as good as some of the newer Airfix kits. That's not to say it's bad. I wouldn't say it's bad at all. It looks rather nice, but just a little bit concerned at the moment. And I'm not going to open the bag yet, as I don't want the parts to get damaged, but you can see there are two canopy options, one windscreen and what looks like a landing light or something in there. We'll assess that during the build. I'm sure it will be fine. And that is that. There is nothing more to it. Unfortunately, in the time between me opening the box and putting things back in the box, the paints appear to have miraculously fallen down a flight of stairs and out into the bin outside and been taken away and, and uh, safely destroyed by a controlled explosive. However, everything else is now back in the box. Oh, and the paintbrush is here. Uh, I'm not putting the paintbrush back in because I don't want to bend it. I use these quite a lot anyway. They're not great for like high detail exterior finishes or, or things like that, but they're pretty good for painting interiors and those uh, less seen bits. So this is going with my other paintbrushes in the drawer shortly, but 
I need to work out what I'm going to do with this, what colour to paint it, that sort of thing, what paints I'm going to use other than the starter set ones. I do have a load of Hataka German Luftwaffe colours, so RLM 76 and there's RLM 81. So I will almost certainly use those in some capacity as long as I've got the right colours. So I'm going to do a bit of research, work out what I'm going to do. I might end up just making the one in the box. Hello, Captain from the Future here with just a, a little addendum. Firstly, this is one of the unboxings that I filmed a little while ago, and as such, I've actually finished the aircraft, as can be seen by the blurry mess in the background. And the other was to welcome Crazy Locher to my list of members and the five gifties. You are very much appreciated. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you would l be so kind and if you're interested in that sort of thing. And finally, thank you for watching and stay tuned for another video of me actually building this plane further down the line. Hopefully see you then.